Hello everyone, this is Minimita's Hormone Analyzer which is widely used to measure many types of hormones and some of other biomarkers. So let's learn how to use it. As you can see in the screen right now, the sample volume and the test time depends on the type of the hormone. Now for the test, we need our hormone analyzer with the barcode scanner attached, then the strips and the spurs for each sample, calibrated pipette with disposable tips and the sample of course. Also it is recommended to wear gloves while handling the sample. If the sample has collected into a plain tube like this, which means the tubes without anticoagulants, you have to wait until blood clots before centrifugation, okay, like this. Now the blood samples are placed in a centrifuge and centrifuge at a specific speed generally in between 1500 to 2000 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now let's dive into the test. First of all, you have to load the spurs and the strips into the relevant compartments of the instrument. If you have more than one sample under the same test, at the same time you can add those samples as well. Select whether it is section A or section B. Now select the position which is number 1 in here. Then select the sample ID. Now scan the barcode of the sample using the barcode scanner. After all samples have been entered, press the previous screen button twice to view the sample layout on the load help screen. Also, don't forget to compare the sample ID on the screen with the sample to make sure you are taking serum from the correct sample. Now transfer the right amount of serum into the sample well of the strip. Then tap one two times to remove air bubbles. Now select the start option, then give the user ID. The completion time displays once the run has successfully started. Lastly, by selecting display temperature, you see the current temperature. It is very important to keep it around 37 Celsius. When it is done, the light splashes and the screen displays unload. As you can see, the results are automatically printed to you to view. At the end of the run, discard the used strips and spurs into the appropriate biohazard waste in your lab. Alright, while doing that, now let's see few of the characteristics of the strips and spurs before and after using. So these are the strips which are pre-coated with specific antibodies for the target hormones. Before using, they are sterile and come sealed to prevent contamination. But as you can see, during the test, the machine uses needle-like probes to puncture the sealed compartments of the strip. Um, this allows the analyzer to inject or aspirate liquid into O from the compartments. So those are the holes now you see on the screen. Also, each strip has a barcode to ensure the right test is performed on the system. Also, another thing is the strip has several compartments which are uh, used for the sample and region interactions typically including wash, substrate and sample zones. After the test is completed, the strip contains residual sample and regions now considered as biohazardous waste. On the other hand, the spurs are just like the compartments in the strip that hold regions or serum. At the beginning, these compartments are empty because they are designed to receive either serum or regions during the test process. Okay. After the test begins, as you can see, the compartment is filled with different liquids such as patient serum and the regions. Okay, so um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Bye.